Hi guys, welcome to another video about survival analysis. I'm gonna do a short maximum likelihood example and show you how you can fit a survival model using a maximum likelihood. Let's suppose we are uh, either in the type one censoring or we assume that uh, the parameters of the events uh, are independent or not related to the parameters of the censoring distributions. And so in the last video, we show that the likelihood is given by this expression over here. And I just need to make a correction about last video. In the last video, I used the X's and the X's are only for the events. So remember the T's now are the times and the deltas are telling us whether the time is an actual event, event time, meaning we observed uh, the actual event taking place at that time or it's a censoring time, meaning we only observed that the event didn't take place until that time. And so the correct formula has to have T here in those two instead of X's. So how do we fit this using maximum likelihood? So suppose we assume that the X's follow some exponential distribution, and this is our assumption about the model. Uh, in the last video, we showed that uh, this is equivalent to uh, assuming that the hazard is constant. So if we take look at the density of the survival time, it's given by this. And we said that the hazard, we showed that it's actually equal to the F, the PDF divided by the survival function. And then these two cancel out and we are only left with the Lambda. And actually it's also the other way around. If we say that the hazard is a constant, then it automatically means that our, um, event times distribute exponentially. And you can follow the math here and, and see this. Um, and so this is an important point that the survival function, the uh, PDF, the CDF, and also the hazard function completely define the distribution. So if you set one, it already tells you what the other ones are. Okay, so how do we do the maximum likelihood? We take the log likelihood, okay? So we take the log of this expression over here and it just decomposes into this. And then we just plug in what is the PDF and what is the survival function. So the PDF, uh, the log of the PDF is just given by this thing for, uh, for an exponential distribution. And the survival function, the log of it is just given by this thing, right? The log of lambda E minus lambda X is just log lambda minus lambda X, right? And we can change the thing and we get this thing. And of course, instead of X, we have a T here. Yeah, and the same for the uh, survival function. Uh, we said the survival function is just E to the minus Lambda T. And if we take the log of it, we just get this thing over here. Bringing all of this, we see that this is here and also here. And here we get all the events and here we get all the non-events. So together we just have it for everything. So uh, we just get it the minus lambda can uh, go outside and then it's just the sum of the times for everything, for all of our data, both events and non-events, okay? And we can uh, denote it by a capital T, okay? So the capital green T is the sum of all times, both events and sensors. And here, in addition, we also have um, the log of lambda going out and all we have is the sum of the, of the deltas. And so the sum of the deltas we can denote it by a big D, it's just the number of all events. So the delta is an indicator, one for event, zero for non-events. So the sum of it is just the number of events. Okay, so we get this expression over here. If we differentiate it with regards to the parameter lambda, we get this equate to zero. And we find that the maximum likelihood estimator is just D over T. So it's the number of events divided by the total time given. And note that if we didn't have sensors, then uh, the only thing that would different is that D would be equal to N, it would be equal to the number of observation. And T we said is the sum of all uh, times, both events and non-events. So if we don't have censoring, it's just the time of all events. So basically we get uh, that this is equal to N over sum of XI, which is one over X bar. Yeah, and this is exactly the maximum likelihood estimator for exponential distribution. Okay, so let's see this also in R. Okay, so there's a, a small code here that does it. Let's say we have 3000 observation 
that says that the true parameter to generate the data is uh, lambda equal to 0 0.7. Let's generate this data. We can see how the survival times looks. And now let's set a sensor time for as 2.5. This is not exactly a, a type one sensoring. Well, it could be if we say that um, we started everyone on the same time, yeah? So everyone who joined the experiment started at the same time. We started tracking them at the same time. And then after two and a half years, we stopped, okay? Uh, and so this could be then a type one sensoring. And then we take the minimum of that for the time and the indicator variable for the delta. We calculate the negative likelihood. Yeah, so it's basically uh, after we take the log, it's just the delta times the log of an exponential distribution here. And here it's one minus delta times the log of one minus the CDF, which is the survival function here. And then I just multiply it all by minus one because the optimization minimizes it instead of maximizes. Okay, so we do this, and then we give it some initial parameter to start from, and we run an optimization technique, and we see that it, for our data, it gives us 0 0.711, very close to the 0 0.7, which is the true parameter. And we can also compute analytically the maximum likelihood, and we can see it gives almost an identical solution. So this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe and I see you all in the next video.